Hey everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome to day 31. Only one more day left tomorrow. Just crazy. So this is day number 30. It's a two four by six photo pocket and I'm scrapping on the back of that today. So it doesn't really matter what I do. That would be kind of cool, sort of, except I have sort of an idea in mind. I don't know what I'm going to do, but this is my yoga journal for tomorrow. And I just want to get this documented that um, it's going to be something, it's like a planner and yoga journal all in one. And so I want to get that documented that I'm going to be using it. So I, I love this paper. This is from the old, um, uh, I can't think of it. It was Good Cheer, I think, from Elle's studio. And what I'm thinking I want to do is I think I want to use like a piece of this as a border or something. And I'm thinking I need to cut this photo down because right now it's almost as wide as the card is going to be. So let me just cut this a little bit so that I get a little bit more of a reveal there. Yeah, I think that works better. I could even cut it probably a little bit more on this side so you don't see as much of that background. Okay, that looks good. Now, um, and I just realized that the way this is cut, I really probably want it going in towards the center. So, and I don't really want this whole thing. But I need a paper behind that. And I'm looking at my six by six papers. And this green is really nice with that. It's pretty dark. I don't think there is a green that went with this collection that I might have some more of. I also have this blue, but I think that's too much. I don't want it all blue. I want the photo to kind of stand out there. Let me see if I can. Oh, here's the green right here. This might be too much though. I'm just looking to see if I have any other greens that I think might work with that. And there's a lot of that green. Let's see. I have that green which is pretty dark. Yeah, that's it. So, my choices are either this, and maybe I can make this be a band that goes through the center, like a smaller band, maybe. I definitely don't like it on this. This is too busy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this card down first by attaching it to the back of the other one from day 30. Okay. Then a scrap like this, it would be perfect actually, I think. Um, all right, so that Let's look at this on here and just look. I think it really only needs to be about that wide. And I'm gonna first I'm gonna take live a little dangerously here. Take it down that way. And then decide again how wide this needs to be. Yeah, I think only about as wide as that green stripe. So, I love this paper. Still one of my absolute favorite Christmas papers forever. And this was um, making a list from Joyful which was the year after Good Cheer. Um, let me see if I can tell you what year. 2015. Good Cheer was 2014 then. I just love their their collections. Well, but, you know, aqua is one of my favorite colors, so that totally makes sense. All right. 
And look at this. This photo is even going in the correct direction. All right, right now that's all a little disturbing, isn't it? Okay, so now we need to figure out what I'm doing up here. I do have these um, cut aparts from the L Studio. Um, it's a printable. So that's something I could use. I could also come in and just use, oh, I like that. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Remember, I've been trying to use this floral paper forever. At least it feels like forever. And I'm finally getting it used. Yay, me. It's such a pretty paper. It's just never looked right a couple of times. I think a lot of times I didn't like the red with whatever background it was on. Okay. So we'll do this, that, this, and now I think not the big ones. I think one of the small ones here I'm just going to cut it off. And I'll have to get a slick writer because this is printed on glossy photo paper. Um, my matte photo paper is really thin. I was expecting photo paper and it came as like a presentation paper or something like that. I really don't like it. You can see paper behind it a lot. Okay, so that's good. And now, um, maybe some other things. Let's see, what do we have here? We have a tag. Maybe some green. I also have this one too. And then I could put a little um, something in there. piece says everything is awesome everything is awesome unfortunately be the only black and I don't like that but I like the idea let's see I have a little tis this season I should be showing you what I'm looking through here probably want a little bit more like green or something on there a thing that says making a list. I think that's too much on there. Too much on there. Okay, so. Let's see, we have Tis the Season and Favorite on here and some Hearts and Stars. Okay, so I think let's get this down first. Um, I could put my number right there too. I might just leave this part as it is. just as it is. And the reason I put that wood tag on there is that this is sitting on a wood table and um, I think it does a nice job of just sort of bringing that wood in a little bit. And I can kind of move this tag in and out depending on how much space I want. I think that's, I think that'll be good. I want to check it in a little bit more here. Uh, except now it's over way far from that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, there we go. 
Let's get those together. They are perfect. Then I can do it this way. And now I can check my, there we go. Okay. And, uh-oh, ATG broke. And the adhesive issues continue, guys. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm laughing about it. It is what it is, right? Okay, and I could use some of my lovely, you know, I have all those hearts in the colors of this. could use some of those on this, too. I'll have to look and see what I can find. I probably have blue hearts that are that turquoise heart, too. Very excited to start using this journal. A friend of mine who... I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of my videos or you may have missed it, that I do yoga every day. We started doing a challenge to do 30 days of yoga in June, and we've kept it up. Um, we're on 2-12, day 2-12 about, if I remember correctly. Um, somewhere near there, if that's not exactly the right number. Um, and we're really loving it. It's made huge changes for me, just with something as simple as doing um, between five and five and like 40 minutes of yoga a day. Most of the time it's about 20 or 25 minutes and that's it. And while I've been sick, there's a uh, yoga for when you're sick. I follow somebody called um, Adrian. So if you go to YouTube, it's yoga with Adrian and she is phenomenal. So anyway, um, I, I just feel great, and I don't feel like I can't do things. Um, she's really encouraging, and it's just been awesome. So anyway, okay, so that's that. And now I'm thinking um, number. Let's get the number on here and maybe in the green, but maybe the number needs to go down here because of the getting them together there. Like the same kind of a thing now. The only thing is, is I think the only green I have in a letter or in a number that's kind of that big would be too, like, small for that area. But let's check it out. So here's the, I guess it's going to be okay. Because that's a nice match to the greens, the dark greens, which kind of emphasized here quite a bit. Okay, so that's that. Um, and then uh, what else can we do here? I do have stars. A winter adventure is not going to be it. Uh, puffy stickers. I talked about maybe doing the puffy hearts. And I also have, yeah, puffy stars, but... Not, I think I would rather do hearts because I do love this whole process of the yoga every day and the thinking about using this yoga journal. <coughs> I could go back and use these acrylic stars, but I don't think I'm going to do that on this one um, just because those are kind of a different color green. So let's look at getting some of these hearts here. So there's that one. And this little guy right here might be good. Okay, so we have three on there. Then maybe one here somewhere. But we could do that one in a different color. I'm thinking maybe red. I'm just looking to see if I have any good red ones. There's this red one. I figure I might as well use up what I have on those sheets before I use, or on this sheet before I start using the other sheet. Okay, so this one, kind 
of disappears into that. Um, it almost needs to be taller. Okay, I think that's good there. I don't think I want to put um, any other, well, maybe, let's see. Should I do a smaller one up somewhere else or here, maybe? There seems kind of silly. Um because it would blend in. <laughs> it seems kind of silly. Okay, whatever. Uh, could also, oh, the light green doesn't, well, the light green appears a little bit up in there, but it might look a little bit off on this. Yeah, I don't really like that on there. Oh, I do have white, although this is very cream-based. It's white up here, but it's very cream-based down here, so not a good solution there. Okay, but now I feel like I need a third one. <laughs> that one's too big. Fortunately, I have some of these little tiny ones here. I think I'll just put it up at this edge here. So then we've got the three at the top and three at the bottom, and I've used a whole bunch of hearts here. Okay, guys, I think that's it. All right, page is done for the day. I'll get some journaling done here and get some photos taken and get this up for you. And tomorrow is it for day number um, day number 32, or 30, I'm sorry, 31. That's not true. I've got one more day left after this. I keep thinking, because I'm going to do one for New Year's Day. So I think that's right. Or do I have this numbered wrong? I have this numbered wrong. That's not right. I'm thinking, wait. Tomorrow is New Year's Day. It can't be this. Okay, that zero has to come off. You guys probably were yelling, Kelly, it's the wrong number. Actually, seriously, the fact that it took this long to do that is pretty awesome because that normally happens long before this. And I happen to have a, one number one left on this sheet. I think I like the way the space was taken up better with the zero, but there we go. Yes. <coughs> I almost fooled myself. Anyway, tomorrow is the last day so I'll only be back with you guys one more time so anyway hope you guys are all having a great day and I just realized I don't have any twine for that but I'll get the twine for that and I'll um, you'll see it in the still shots so hope you're all well and I'll see you guys tomorrow